So next part to be reinstalled is the armor plates for the air intakes, which are secured by those four red bolts. We're gonna try to at least put it on, on one side because uh, the other side will take a bit longer as the bolts, as you can see, are no longer straight. So we need to replace those. And these are the two armor plates which need to be mounted. So let's get busy. Small change in plan. We're gonna first remove these covers again so that we can get the armor plate closer to the air intake. Otherwise, we'll never be able to position it the proper way to insert the bolts. So, with the top shield gone, we can already significantly close the gap between the plate and the air intake. So, now it should work. So, armor plate attached, so all that's left to do is reinstall the top cover and we're done on this side. And the top cover has also been reinstalled. It's just missing one or two bolts, but that's something to find later. At least the armor plate has been reattached. As we're kind of stuck on the hull, waiting for bolts for the armor plate and a couple of track cover pieces which need to be painted, we're gonna already start with the instrument panel, which is the white box. 
and see if we can already assemble all of the meters and switches. So we have the assembly drawing. Apparently there's two types. And we have the bottom one. So let's start. So this is the result after a day's work. Speedometer is placed, RPM counter, all the switches have been installed, the fuel tank gogs, and the starter switch. So now it's the fuse box, the connectors outward, the oil pressure gauge, amp counter, and then the two temperature sensors at the bottom. Still a lot of work to be done. March along, sing a song.